Here's Nick Watt with Brain Man. Thirty-one-year-old Daniel Tammet is, on the outside, an unremarkable young man. But like Clark Kent, who behind those glasses hides the powers of Superman, behind Tammet's bookish exterior, there lies a superhuman gift, one of the most extraordinary brains our planet has ever seen. Scientists have tested Tammet's memory. They had him take a look at Pi, a string of numbers that goes on forever. You read through them once. Yeah. And that was it, you have memorized it. And that was it, one time only. He memorized the first 22,000 digits of Pi. Four, one, five, nine, and then, in front of a disbelieving audience, he begins reciting the numbers back in order from memory. Five, seven. Five mathematicians struggling to keep up, checking every single digit. Two, five, nine, zero. It's mesmerizing. Three, four, six, nine, zero. Eight, one, nine, nine, zero. Six, After five nine, hours eight, and nine six, minutes. Seven, Finished. Yeah. Every single one. Perfect. I learned to count like anyone else at a young age. And when I did, I would see colours. I would see pictures in my mind. I assumed at the time that everyone saw numbers as I did. Tammet didn't do math like the teacher said. The answers just came to him. Watch how he finds the answer to 53 times 131. With a sum like 53, just round, very round, larger at the bottom, and then you've got another number here, 131, which is longer, a little bit like an hourglass, symmetrical, and in the middle you've got a negative space, then you have a third shape, and this I see is the solution to the sum 6943. For Tammet, every digit is a three-dimensional shape. Nine is large, deep blue, concave. Four is small, light blue, angular. Ten is like a metallic puddle. To memorize a long number like pi, he just forms a beautiful landscape out of those shapes. It's a world, it's, a, it's another world. A world science cannot fully understand. Tammet has Asperger's syndrome, a form of autism that makes him unnaturally obsessive focused. He also has something called synesthesia. In a normal brain, different parts don't talk to each other. In Tammet's brain, they do. That's why he sees numbers as beautiful shapes and colour. They call Tammet an autistic savant, like Rain Man. Do you know how much the square root of 2,130 is? Four, six. Point one five one nine two three oh four two three oh four. Most savants, like Dustin Hoffman's character, find normal life social interaction almost impossible. Were you bullied at school? Yes. Uh, I would uh, have uh, gestures, flapping of the hands, for example, uh, walking in circles. And the other children would repeat that back to me, tease me, call me names. But these days, crowds flock to hear Tammet speak. The most extraordinary brain, his name is Daniel Tammet. I realised, you know, that, that I had something within me that was special and was a gift and I should use it to the best of my ability to, to make a difference. His autobiography is a bestseller translated into 20 languages. A second book details how our brains really work. I'm able to look from the inside out, and so that gives a new perspective that scientists haven't had before. Tammet is also a role model for having overcome the crippling limitations of autism. It's never easy. I mean, I think there's always an effort there. As well. He trained himself to make friends, tell jokes, stuff that for most of us is second nature. Uh, le jeu de range. But he still can't drive. What's the obstacle there? The obstacle there is the, the amount of detail that my brain will pick up. And it's beautiful, but it's not safe for driving. Tammet, born the eldest of nine children in England, now lives in Avignon in the south of France, where popes lived in the 14th century. Van Gogh painted the surrounding countryside. Bonjour. Bonjour. 
as meat, cheese. He's embraced the French joie de vivre. And we eat lots of fish, very good for the brain. I'm not sure you need that, do you? <laughs> Who knows? Because not only are numbers a gift, but so are words. He knows eight languages, and we watched him pick up one more. Off to Reykjavik, Iceland, where Tamit touches down with a final challenge to learn Icelandic, perhaps the most impenetrable language on Earth. For example, remember the name of that Icelandic volcano that was in the news? He'll have just one week to learn the language. Impossible for, for, for a human to learn this in a week. When people say to me, this is something you can't do, I want to do it, I want to prove them wrong. He was like a vacuum cleaner, I can see. He was sucking up the words, and he was just putting it in his brain. After just seven days of studying, has he cracked the code? Okay, tell me when to go on. Tammet appeared on Icelandic TV, a live talk show. Welcome. Welcome. How did you Oh. Holy cow, yeah, he nailed it. It's, it's, it's not human. No, it's not. Daniel Tammet is superhuman, and science can't quite figure out why. So, Daniel, the question everyone wants to ask you is, how do you pronounce the name of that Icelandic volcano? Eyjafjallajökull. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's hard. <laughs>